some quick ASMR action. Passion Pan Demon Slam by yours truly. What's good internet friends? Welcome to another video update on the road to Onion City Memories. And by another video I mean the first official video with me really speaking on it. For those who didn't know or haven't heard, I have been working towards a solo art show as well as my next art book and have been actively pouring my creativity into both this year. This playlist slash video series will be here to document the journey and bring you all in on that journey with me. The title of my art exhibition will be Onion City Memories Part 1, or it might be Volume 1, or it might be Chapter 1. That hasn't been ironed out yet. But I intend to work towards a goal of an annual art exhibition that will bring people into my world of Onion City where all my original characters, concepts, and creations exist. Onion City is a futuristic alternate reality heavily inspired by Chicago and other places that I've lived in and visited. This exhibition will be a showcase of nine paintings alongside nine comic book illustrations of the narratives behind those paintings. Some paintings will be telling stories involving the character portrayed, while others will be me utilizing the character to express from my own experience. These pieces are both narrative-driven works showcasing original storytelling as well as vessels used to express from my real-life experience. Every piece will be a piece of me, my experiences, and my creative influences. With that said, let's talk about the painting I'm working on in this video. As you saw in the intro of this video, this piece is titled Passion, Pain, and Demon Slain. This piece is centered around a new character that I'm debuting here. This character's name is Muddy Indigo, and he's a bounty hunter from the American Wild West who fell asleep in a jail cell in 1899 and woke up in a cell of an inter intergalactic jail in the year 2135. He managed to escape with an interesting cellmate, who is probably familiar to you all, and from there, bo they both began a new life of intergalactic space bounty hunting. The point of view of this painting is from the perspective of a bounty that has been slain by Muddy Indigo himself. I was actually trying to make this piece from the point of view of the opening of this of the, the bounty's wound. Um, a bit graphic, yeah, but the bounty himself is actually a monster type character who I've used in you know some illustrations here and there. Um, and, and you'll, you'll be able to get a better look at him uh, in the comic illustration that goes along with the painting. But anyway, I'm, I'm always trying to create new and or interesting compositions for my paintings, and I think I achieved that by the end of this process. Muddy Indigo has been tracking this bounty as he's been causing mayhem on a small desert planet. He finally catches him, and, you know, I think... I think uh, Muddy Indigo doesn't mind bringing in his bounties warm or cold, kind of like another space bounty hunter I have in mind. Um, com drop a comment uh, if, if you know who I'm talking about. This piece is a snapshot of a moment in my character's story, but it can also be applied to defeating your, your own internal demons and monsters. The title of the piece is inspired by a Kid Cudi album, and it just... It just felt fitting for the theme of a bounty hunter taking out his bounty. Um, another fun fact about the character Muddy Indigo is that his design is entirely inspired by the Red Dead Online uh, video game character that I created for myself. Um, big fan of Red Dead. Um, used to play Red Dead Online a lot. Um, not, not so much lately because there hasn't been anything new. But yeah, ever since I made my online character, I've had like a big desire to draw him and bring him to life in my art somehow. So this is a big moment for sure. Um, I thought about changing his, his name, but I, I mean, th that was just the name I gave him in, in the game. So I just figured it, it just made sense to keep it, even though my art name is Muddy, but the character is not me. <laughs> It's, uh, it's just the same name for, for whatever reason, I didn't change it. I thought about Buddy Indigo, but I was like, eh, I'll just, I'll just keep it to what he was in the game. 
Anyway, now that I've finished this painting, I'll be putting together the comic illustration to go along with the painting. Um, I'm also planning to write up like a short character bio for, for you know, the, the, the art book, the Onion City Memories art book. So being that this is a new character, I'm, I'm especially excited to, to write a character bio for him. Gave you guys a little bit of, of his backstory uh, earlier, but yeah, look out for that. Um, anyway, thank you all for joining me on this, on this next project, this next journey of mine. Um, I'm really excited about this project and I'm hyped to share the process with you all. I feel like I'm trying to do something new. Um, you know, I'm, I'm chasing a big solo show, solo art exhibition here in my city in Chicago. And I'm, I'm trying to do, do it different than just like, you know, paintings and whatnot on the walls. I want to put, you know, paintings of all sizes as well as comic illustrations, maybe some framed uh, original illustrations that led to those comic, uh, the final comic draft, the fully rendered comic page, if you will. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to curating a truly interactive experience and bringing, bringing everybody along the ride. It's, it, it's going to be a long ride. This is technically out of the nine paintings. This is the third one that I have done, but I have another one that's like 90% done. So I'm about to be four out of nine done, but I still have uh, nine comic illustrations to finish. So it'll be a while. I I need to do that. I need to, to pitch myself to a couple galleries and set a date but we're working and that's that's what counts so thank you for watching this long till next time peace